I talked about adding a pattern to a flat sketch in this video and I got some questions about how to do this on the iPad. So let's talk about it. More and more people are using iPad and though you still can't do everything on the iPad, I'm pretty excited about the things you can do because I know I'll have some students this semester using an iPad and I've had more people asking about how to use the programs on iPad when it comes to my own Illustrator for Fashion courses. So one of those things you can do is masking, which is how I quickly added this fabric texture to this jacket and what I'm gonna show you today. Let's start with Photoshop. So the first thing I'll do is create a new document and you wanna make sure that the sketch and the texture you want to work with is accessible. So that would be saved in your photos, files, if you have the cloud connected to your computer, the CC libraries, or you can take a picture. For me, I'm going to get the sketch and the texture from my libraries. My jacket is a bit large, so to scale it down, just select it and drag a corner and hit done when you're, when you're finished. The plaid came in pretty large as well, so I'll scale that down too. But the size of the plaid swatch should be larger than the area it's going into. Hide the plaid layer so you can see the entire sketch and then switch to the quick selection tool to select the area you want to fill. Unhide and tap the plaid layer. Then tap the mask icon to put the plaid clip into the sketch. To change the orientation of the pattern inside the shape, you need to first unlink the pattern from the mask. Click on the thumbnail for the pattern and then choose the free transform tool, which will allow you to change the rotation and scale of the pattern, even skew or distort it. Click back on the thumbnail of the mask, the black and white thumbnail, then relink the pattern and mask layer. Repeat the same steps for any other areas that should be filled with a pattern. In Illustrator, you'll start the same way. Create a new document and add the sketch to the page by going into the libraries or photos or wherever your sketch is saved. This time when I bring in my jacket sketch, it's a little small, so I want to first enlarge it. And in Illustrator, you'll need to press the modifier button as you scale so that the sketch stays proportional. Before bringing the plaid onto the page, Ungroup the sketch so that you can select an individual object for the mask. Select the sketch and choose Ungroup. Then choose Release Clipping Mask. And keep selecting Release Clipping Mask until you can select one object at a time. Add the pattern swatch to the page and place it over the shape it will go into. Use the mini toolbar to send the swatch behind the object it should go into. and then select both the object and the swatch. Press the modifier key to select the two objects at the same time, and then tap the Make Clipping Mask icon. To edit the orientation of the pattern, double-click the pattern in the mask, and using the bounding box, scale or rotate the pattern. And to add the stroke back to the mask object, Double click the mask, making sure you are clicking on the edge of the object. And once you go into direct selection mode, add the stroke back to the object and change the stroke weight in the properties panel. And again, repeat the same process for any other objects that should be filled with the pattern. So there are definitely some new features coming to both Photoshop and Illustrator. And sidebar, it looks like the new features are being added more quickly to Photoshop, but 
it's great to know that you can do this much right now. Thanks for watching today's video. Check out the links in the description for more information about my courses and to get some great freebies. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you found it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.